here's the latest project what we have here of course is a hot water 16 and this one's uh, in fairly good shape it's got a couple of issues but the main reason why we're tinkering with this is I'm um, gonna replace the IF filter with the uh, IF filter out of an HW101 to improve the selectivity and add um, an AGC circuit to it. One of the big issues with the 16, and I had one my first real radio, was no AGC. You'd be listening to a weak station and all of a sudden somebody with a 20 over 9 signal would come on and if you were wearing headphones at the time it could be a little painful. Anyway, that's a mod we're going to try. Alan dug up the information and sent all the parts and involves adding a new tube. And you also get a, uh, the, S, the uh, meter will become an S meter to show, uh, I guess, relative uh, received signal strength. So anyway, this one is, uh, it needs a little work before we get started. Let me uh, pause this for a second. Okay, here's what she looks like on the inside. As of right now, anyway. Somebody has done the uh, Hayseed Hamfest uh, recap kit. So these two caps are disconnected. And uh, there's a couple new ones under the chassis. So it's very good. Uh, initially it had some pretty uh, intermittent hum. And that turned out to be the mounting for the uh, printed circuit board to the chassis. A couple of the screws are really loose, especially back here by the audio amplifier. And somebody has them in upside down, by the way. I don't know if you can notice that or not, but this is the way it should be with the screw on the top. But most of them have the... Uh, the nuts on the top. So, but, uh, anyway, the hum went away once the board was tightened down. No 15 meters. I suspect the 15 meter crystal is bad, although I haven't confirmed that yet. But, uh, anyway, it has a uh, busted crystal socket here. And I just happen to have one. Um, oh, here's a weird thing. The dial, I th I've got it fixed temporarily, but it's not going to stay. Once you get up above like 150 kilohertz, it would slip and not tune anymore. And here's the reason why. Let me pause this. Okay, I don't know if you could see this or not, but there's a little plastic backing on the back side of the, the dial, almost like a clear wrap of some kind, and it's coming loose here, and the edges are all worn off. So when it has to get driven by the little uh, spring friction drive mechanism down here, at this part of the dial where all this stuff is worn away, Occasionally it'll slip. Now the good news is, at least for now, that that only affects the upper part of the dial. And I've got that pushed back a little bit, so it seems to be working okay at the moment. But it's not going to last. Anyway, down the CW part of the band, not an issue because that plastic backing is not pulled away yet. So we've got some other 16s here. I'll probably just end up seeing if we have a better dial and replace it in this one. So that's uh, one thing. Hang on a second. Okay, I have a crystal plugged in. And um, another thing that's been done to this is uh, someone has performed the uh, side tone modification, which involves really disconnecting the neon lamp oscillator back there. 
and partially uh, muting the receiver so uh, you kind of listen to your own transmitted signal as the uh, as the side tone itself so with a crystal plugged into the socket here and a straight key hooked up now there's a little bit of a TR thump there that's not real desirable but it's full QSK and uh, we kind of, I don't know if we can zoom in here on the old meter. That's uh, for a plate dip, relative power. And if I go over here and see if I can zoom in on the bird. Which I guess I can't. Probably because of that backlighting there. Anyway, I'll hit the key here and that's about 40 watts. Let me uh, peek it a little. Yeah, about 45 watts there. With that little bit of annoying TR thump. So, let me... Uh, oops. Pause this for a second. We'll put it on. Okay, just uh, hooked up an antenna. We're still up around our transmit frequency, but you can see what I'm talking about now. I can turn the dial, and it's not engaging the plastic up at this end of the band. A lot of slippage. Oh, better turn that down. That's what I mean about the AGC being a desirable feature on this rig. So if we can pull this off, it'll be a big enhancement. Okay, now we're down at CW. Everything's fine as far as the tuning goes. Unfortunately, it's about noontime. And not a lot of signals on to listen to. But I did want to show you... That's what I mean about the AGC being very desirable. Imagine having headphones on and tuning across that. It's pretty high pitch too, where it peaks. And I confirmed that uh, by using spectrogram. Let me uh, hook that up real quick. QRX. Okay, I have the noise generator hooked up instead of the antenna now. And um, we're going to try to get a, uh, a view of the uh, response here using spectrogram. So let me uh, disconnect the speaker. I'll plug in to the laptop and we'll get a display. And this is always really difficult, I guess, especially on such a sunny day. There we go. This is the current um, IF filter. Just a little two-pole filter um, that's in there. But, you, but the thing that uh, I wasn't too crazy about, especially when I heard, is look how high in frequency the peak is. The first vertical line is uh, 800 hertz. The peak uh, shows up being just uh, slightly over one kilohertz, like 1,050 hertz. So uh, that's, you know... <laughs> That's kind of high. I never realized that mine was like that, but it might have been. I wasn't too picky back in those days. 
But anyway, ideally, I'd like to have it down around 650, 700 hertz. So, when we put the new filter in, I um, may have to adjust the BFO a little bit and see where it all winds up. But uh, this will be an interesting project. Okay, we're back. There's a CW signal on right now. Let me try to get them in the center of the passband, the way things are currently set up. And now we'll go over to the speaker and see what the pitch is like. It seems awful high. I, you know, I would prefer it a little bit lower. We'll go back and look at it. That's right in the center of the passband of the filter. So, We'll see with the new filter, uh, a little too much gain there. We'll turn the gain down. We'll see what the new filter and uh, possibly a little shift of the BFO does. And of course the big thing will be the uh, AGC mod. So let me go back to the antenna here for a second. Anyway, that's going to be the, uh, the next little project in the shack here, and we'll see how it all shakes out. But those are the current issues with the rig as I see them right now. No 15 meters, broken crystal socket, bad dial, um, and uh, the peak pitch being a little bit too high for my taste. So, we'll keep you updated on this one. It may take a while, but I'm uh, going to get started on it here pretty soon. Keep on tinkering.